being able to fit all my crap in it. So yeah, that's the ultimate dream when it comes to a handbag in my collection. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you guys are new here, I'm so happy that you're joining me. So if you guys have been around for a while, you would notice that I'm in my old setting here. So I'm at home this weekend celebrating Easter with my family. I'm Greek Orthodox, so our Easter is actually this weekend. And I celebrated with my dad's side last weekend because he's Catholic. So two Easter's and that means that I've been home for the past couple weekends and didn't get out a fashion video to you guys last week. So I figured that since I'm home and I brought my tripod, I would start this little mini series on my channel. Basically, it's going to be like handbag review slash what I can fit in my bag. I didn't want to call it a what's in my bag because I feel like, I don't know, don't really care like if I'm carrying around lip gloss or not. But in terms of like the size of the bag and how much you can fit inside of it, if you're looking to buy it or if you're interested in it at all and you just want to know like if it would fit into your lifestyle, I feel like that's what we're going to gear this towards. So if you guys don't subscribe already and you would love to, then make sure you click that button right down below. And starting off, first episode ever, we're gonna use the Poland bag. This is the numero uno, I think it's the numero un, and that's the nano. I don't know if I'm mixing this up with Saint Laurent when I'm calling it nano, but I think it's definitely the nano size. Um, and so it's in this really cool shape. I got it because I didn't see anything else on the market that has this like, interesting shape but is also like very minimal and chic it's almost as if like because it's so like elevated and the craftsmanship on it is really nice but then you also have a more like softer shape that it could be dressed up or down which is something that i love about it so i guess we'll start off with versatility i can wear this literally with anything i've worn it to dinner i've worn it when i'm just running errands like i did today with this like sweat set that i have on right now so so many different ways to wear this one obviously it is black and I have to say, I think 90% of my handbag collection is black. I have a couple of brown bags and one white one, and the rest of them are black, but it's just because I wear them all year round and these are the ones that I get the most use out of. Trust me, I've tried to like wear like other color bags as much as I do for black ones and it just like never works out. And I always get so much more use out of my black handbag so i figured we would definitely start out with a black one so this comes in so many different colors though so if you're someone who like doesn't like wearing all black or you like something a little bit brighter it comes in like a wine color nude camel white so poland does a really good job with their color ranges because if you like a certain style bag it's not like that one is only available in white or it's only available in camel they have it like in a huge range i'm actually looking at a bucket bag from them right now so if i end up getting it i will let you guys know but love the brand overall. I think that the price for these is also very fair. So I think this one is 320. So it's kind of in that like mid, I mean, it's not fast fashion prices and it's not designer, but it's kind of on like the lower edge of that mid tier, I would say. So considering that this is real leather, it's also very durable. So that's something that I love to look for is like textured leather like this, because it just means that it's not going to scratch as easily as if you were to get smooth leather. And I've had this bag for like, I think it's been like four months now, but it feels so much longer because I literally wear this so much. It's the handbag that I reach for the most. And like I said before, it's just because I can wear it with everything and it just fits every occasion, along with being able to fit all my crap in it. So yeah, that's the ultimate dream when it comes to a handbag in my collection. But I'll just show you guys. So it has a top handle here, so you can carry it just by the top handle. And then on the back, you have a little external external <laughs> pocket here, which is really convenient if you're just like slipping cash in there or something. I don't because the last time I did that, I have a coach bag that has an external pocket like that and I put cash in it and I ended up losing the cash. So I don't keep anything externally anymore, especially with living in New York City. You don't know like, you know, when things are gonna fall out of your bag, get stolen out of your bag. It's always a toss up. Um, and then it has this nice long, adjustable strap so that's my favorite feature of this i think when it came it was on this setting but i can't remember um i could be wrong but you can adjust it to make it shorter or longer if you want to i have it on the second to last longest hole and because i'm a little bit taller this works really well for me because i can have it sit a little bit lower so that it's like right on my hip whereas like if you're shorter you could adjust this to be inches shorter if you need it to be um because i love wearing this crossbody it's just like I don't know. I feel like I know a lot of people are wearing shoulder bags, but I never got into them. And I kind of felt like a mom wearing a crossbody still when everyone's wearing shoulder bags, but it's just so convenient to have both of your hands free, 
especially when you're like running around doing errands or going shopping or something like that. So I love that it has the adjustable strap because it's versatile for like the customer because you know, brands like YSL, for example, the chain drop is so long that if you're like five foot or you're five foot two, it doesn't necessarily make sense for you to buy a brand, a bag of that brand because it like would look a little bit too long. I'm sure you can get it like adjusted or something, but YSL themselves like don't shorten their chains. Um, and then we also have some gold hardware. It's very minimal. It's not like shiny, cheap looking hardware. It's a good tone of gold, I would say. And then the only other hardware you have are the cufflinks on the actual strap, which I think you can cover with the belt. Yeah, you can cover these with the belt loop too, so that it, like if you really wanna go that minimal, then it won't show at all, which is cool. I mean, you guys probably don't care about that. <laughs> um, and then it has the Polen um, logo stamped here in the front, which I think is a really nice detail for it to like, you know, you know that it's a Polen bag, but it's not like it's a huge YSL emblem and it's like in your face. That's something that I love about this one is that it doesn't really like have any hardware that obstructs my outfit when I'm wearing it. And then another plus is that it has feet on the bottom of it. So you're not gonna get this entire thing scratched. It's just gonna help protect the leather a little bit when you're setting it down on a table or a chair if you're at dinner or something. Um, and yeah, so that's the outside of the bag. And then we'll get into the, like what I can fit in here. So I feel like this is gonna be like a little bit of like a Mary Poppins situation where you're gonna be like, there's no way that fits in there. Like, oh no, she did not just pull out a full size hand sanitizer. Like, yes I did. Um, but so just a little bit about the closure. It's just a magnetic closure. It has a little tab here. I still have the sticker on here. I don't know why. And that is a piece of salt from a pretzel cart in the city. Okay, <laughs> now getting into the inside. So you have two snapper buttons here, which is honestly probably one of my favorite features of this bag because look at this hand. I have a very wide, like, huge fat fingers, huge fat palm. Like this doesn't fit into a lot of things, but I can literally snap these buttons open and the opening of the bag is huge. So yeah, that hand is getting fully in there. Normally I only like, I don't have to open it, but if I want it to be more comfortable, I'll just open one side and then I can easily fit my hand in here. So that's just a plus for somebody like me, but a lot of you probably have normal size hands. So we'll just move on. Um, okay. So you have like one main compartment and then there's a little like card slot in the back. So we have the big bottle of hand sanitizer that I was talking about. This also needs a cap on it because it will, or it could, I guess, leak in here, which would not be good. Then we have my apartment keys. Love that. This is a really big keychain too. So just noting that when you're thinking about the size in here, I always carry a card holder even if I have a like full size wallet, I still carry this because this has all of my like essential cards in it. And then if I'm carrying around like, you know, my insurance card, like normally only when I travel, if I'm like needing stuff like that, but this is like my essentials kit. So I carry a card holder for the most part, but you can definitely fit, like you might even be able to fit like a wallet of this width in here. You definitely can, but I don't think I have one that are like that half size. So card holder for sure. And then I have a lip gloss. I actually bought this from Victoria's Secret today. And like I used to use these when I was in middle school, but they were like sticky and this is not sticky at all. It's like really moisturizing, but this isn't a makeup channel. So I need to move on, but look at that gloss. I'll link this for you guys. Um, not that anybody asked. <laughs> um, and then I have my AirPods in here. What else? And then I have my sunglasses case, the entire full sunglasses case. I also have been keeping a charger in here because I don't know what's wrong with me, but I'm not charging my phone at night when I should be. And so it's like dying in the middle of the day. So the other weekend I went to, no, last weekend I went to my sister's apartment and I like fully brought my charger in here because I needed to. Then we also have a $10 off, a $50 purchase Victoria's Secret coupon, some cash, and that's pretty much it in here, plus the charger. So. I'll show you guys the inside of the bag here. It's kind of like this nylon material on the inside. And then this is the back pocket that I was showing you guys. So it's not very tight. Um, so I would maybe put my card holder in it, but I wouldn't like loosely. I mean, I did loosely put cash in it. So that's a huge lie. Um, but normally I would want to keep my cash in my card holder. And then you have the Polen logo embossed in the back here, which I think is a really nice detail. And then this whole part is leather. So I mean, 
the internal lining being a like fabric as opposed to leather is the only thing I think that I would want to change. But that's only because if you like spill like lip gloss or something in here, you'd want to be able to clean it. But in this case, it's black. So you wouldn't be able to tell anyway. And most designer bags don't even have interior linings that are leather. They're all like Gucci's linings or like this like linen-y kind of fabric. So I feel like that's even me asking a lot. So if I were to have any complaints, I feel like that's my only one. And it sounds like this video is an ad for this bag, but like I actually just like it that much. And if I were to suggest any handbag out of my collection in terms of like quality, price, design, I would definitely go with a Polen bag because I feel like those align really well. Whereas like if you're buying a like hardcore designer bag, you're paying a majority of the price for the actual name. But like these are really well-crafted bags, such good quality. And like I said, I just wear it so much and it doesn't even look like, it looks brand new. Like I just got it out of the box, which is absolutely insane. And I do take care of my stuff. Like I'm a little bit of a stickler when it comes to like storing my bags. I suggest having um, stuffing put into this one. It does come with a dust bag too, which I think is a really nice feature because you're thinking like, oh, it's at a lower price point. They don't necessarily treat it as if it's a higher one, but they really do. And they go that extra mile to make sure that like, you know, you can keep it protected because you're gonna have this for years and years and years. So definitely love this one. If you're looking to buy something that's, you know, not at H and M or something like that, where you want to go like a little bit more elevated because you're going to wear it for, you know, a lot more years and you want it to hold up, then I would definitely suggest this one and this shape specifically, just because you can fit so much in here and it matches with absolutely anything. I don't know the exact measurements of this, but I'm going to link this exact style in the description box. And I think I'll also link a couple more from the Poland website that I'm obsessed with right now. And I'm looking to get another one from them. I just don't know which one yet. And I'm deciding between two of them. So I'll link those two. And then if there are any other styles that I love, like ones that are in white for spring and stuff like that, I think I'll put a couple of those down there for you guys. But if you have any questions at all about this little baby, then you can leave them in the comments or you can DM me over on Instagram. I'm like on there every second of the day. So it's at Jenna Evangelia if you guys wanna shoot me a message there. Okay, so that is the end of episode one for this series. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up so that I'm aware or you guys can leave a comment saying like, yes, we wanna see this bag. Like I know I have a bunch of different ones in my collection. So if there's a bag that you specifically want me to do a video on, then make sure you guys leave that in the comments below. But thank you guys so much for watching and I love you all and I'll see you in my next video.